recording. What you're about to see is actual footage of actual people doing actual farm work. If this offends you in any way, please don't watch this video. Woo! Hey folks, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. We have a beautiful day in store for us today here on the farm. It's about 60 degrees. The fruit trees are starting to bloom which could be a bad thing this time of year. I'll take you over here and show you. We've got a lot of new land, a lot of new grass here on the farm, and we're trying to repair these areas here in the springtime before it gets too dry to seed our lawn. So here's a spot that need a little bit of repairing here in the lawn. Mrs. Stony Ridge is working over here in the garden. She's got a rake out, trying to make our garden spot all nice and neat. Say hello, Mrs. Stony Ridge. We'll go over there and see her in a second, but I wanted to take you guys along with me, show you what we're doing. Here's the fruit trees just starting to bud out here nice and pretty that's a peach tree and we've got one peach here another peach over there these are kind of sideline trees out away from the uh, orchard area but anyhow come on along today we'll show you what we've got going on on the farm today mrs stony ridge is working and looking good all right let's have some fun Woo! What you doing, Mrs. Stony Ridge? Raking out the mulch for the garden. Working girl hands. Are they hurting? You need your gloves? Not yet. Maybe yeah. soon. So what she's doing while well, I'm walking around like an idiot with the camera, which I should be helping her, but I've got another task it's on the other side of the farm, and I've been picking sticks up all morning. She's raking all this out. I think if she had known she was going to have to rake all this out, she probably wouldn't have gone to the gym this morning. It's not that big a deal. It's about a 20-minute job, and I'll show you what it looks like after she got done here. This garden is probably somewhere in the neighborhood of a quarter of an acre, and this is plenty enough to feed our family. We really only need about probably a quarter of this garden. So the reason for the mulch here on the garden is that we had access to a lot of wood chips, and I wanted to put some more biomass in our soil here. This was one of the worst places. There used to be a house right here. They burnt the house down. We had a brush pile as big as our house right here and we burnt it up and basically baked the ground sterilized it and turned it into concrete so we're trying to fix it up we got the chickens close by so we can put our manure in the uh, garden and eventually the plan is we'll have it all fenced in all the way around so once the garden peters out at the end of the year we can move our chickens through the garden and let them clean up the scraps and put down some manure for us. That good old butt fertilizer we like so much. So the task I have to do today is we're gonna spread a couple hundred pounds of grass seed. I've already spread about 200 pounds of grass seed this morning before I got the camera out. And we've got a bunch of sticks and rocks and stuff to pick up on all this new land that we cleared. And I'll take you around and we'll show you that. We cleared about somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 to 42 acres of new land. And this is really, really rocky soil. That's why I call it the Stony Ridge. So we got a lot of rocks and sticks and roots and stumps and stuff that we need to pick up and put in the burn pile down here. Now, if you didn't catch yesterday's video, we put these ridiculous wheels on the gator. They seem to be great. They actually leave less of a footprint than the old gator tire, so I'm actually gonna use them. I'm gonna keep them on there for a while. I think it looks really cool. And they serve a purpose. They leave less of a footprint and dig less into the mud. So these might be our summertime wheels for the gator. Let's go get busy. Let me show you guys what this is. So see this wet, wonderful, juicy, delicious stuff right here? This is not going to be good for the garden this year, other than to help retain moisture. So when we get ready to plant our rows of, of plants of tomatoes and squash and all that stuff, this will help control weeds and will basically rake back a row, pushing it to the side, pushing all this mulch to the side, plant our row in there, and then the mulch will help control the weeds and help add biomass and help with moisture retention. And what Mrs. Stony Ridge was doing, I'll show you, is just kind of raking out I dumped big piles out here and they just basically need to be raked out smooth. And you can see down in here, this, this wet, wonderful, juicy, yummy, wet stuff right here. This is what will break down and add biomass to the soil here. And over the next five years or so, this will make our garden just blossom and pop. If any of you guys have any advice on this kind of thing, please leave a comment down below. Now guys, really, we should have done this earlier in the year. We should have done this before the winter time. We should have done this probably in October of last year. 
a little bit behind. That's okay. And if you need to floss really good, sometimes this is a good thing. For, you think so? I yeah, don't it's a good it. flossing stick. We're down on the creek bottom again. We were here a couple days ago. I didn't get my work done. I've got to get my work done. It's supposed to rain the next couple days. The reason we're seeding all this grass and throwing down all this grass seed is this is the time of the year, okay? The weather is going to be just right. It'll be cool. The ground will stay wet and moist and it'll make this grass seed take up and that's what we really want. So we're down here on our creek bottom. We're getting the work done and after we get done doing this, we're going to hit a few bare spots on the new land. When we seeded all the land with the seed drill, that's a pretty cool machine. I'll post a link up there to show you. It'll be there or there somewhere. So we're going to get busy. Like I said, it helps to have a team. We'll be taking this big pot, filling it with grass seed. I'll run along, spread the seed. Come back up, she'll fill me up, we'll run along and do it back and forth, back and forth until we get our job done. Yeah. So Mrs. Stony Ridge is gonna hold this right here while I fill her up with grass seed. She can't pick up the 50 pound bag of grass seed and I can, so we'll make it easy for her. So all she has to do is put it underneath here, and fill up her bucket and then raise up the bag. If you hold the, ba the bucket lower than the grass seed bag, grass seed will flow <laughs> into it. Got it. There we go. All right. So she'll hold this open and I'll pour the grass seed in. This is much, much easier with two people. The other day when I was working with it, it was a pain in the butt. Once again, we're using this hand seeder, and what you see here, you can see red soil. And what you can't see is when you get right up on top of it, it looks almost barren. The soil is more red because it's more clay, and it contains more iron. So, that's the red dirt of North Carolina. So you might be asking yourself, why is Josh telling me so much about grass and about seeding and about this? Because this is farming, this is real, this is important. Not allowing the soil to wash off down the hill is majorly important. Had I not sown this grass on this hill, and then if I don't give it the attention that it needs, my hillside is going to wash down into the creek. And that's not what we want. That's why we keep talking about this. So this is what I mean by washing. This is right beside the driveway here. And if you look at the other side, it's also washing and we've put hay out on it to try and stop it from washing. And let's ride up here a little ways. So as we ride out here, you can tell, I'll show you, where I miss spots. And you know, everybody's not perfect. When I went around with this uh, no-till seed drill, I missed some spots and I'll show you real quick. So this spot here is a spot that I missed and as I rounded this turn, several times I missed rings right there right there right there and right there we've got to go back and seed those over you wanted real farming you wanted the truth you wanted the truth about owning land and this is the truth this is hard work we got to get it done we're gonna bust our butts here the feed store closes at seven we want to get out of here before dark and go get some feed in the old hundred dollar truck take it for a drive take you guys for a ride in it too so it's time to boogie Mrs. Stony Ridge and I have a nice system worked out now right yeah she's a pro well guys, we've been busting our butts all day long and we're tired and we're hungry and we still got more work to do. We still have to go to the feed store. So this is where we're gonna say bye. Thanks a lot for joining us here on the Stony Ridge. We just had to get work done. Uh, there was a lot of rocks and sticks to pick up, probably, I don't know, 10 truckloads of rocks and sticks to pick up. And then there's that airplane. <laughs> it's a cool looking plane. Yeah, it's a biplane. After the plane flies over, we'll tell you about the rest of everything. So I'm going to put Mrs. Stony Ridge on the spot right now. Oh, good. What was the hardest <laughs> part about today, Mrs. Stony Ridge? Um, the hardest part about today? Okay. Working hard, working together, figuring out each other's flow. I think the hardest part of the day was trying to figure out how to work together as a husband and wife and get this hard work done. Guys, I don't want to paint you a picture of, of everything's super duper wonderful all the time hard work with your wife and with your kids and with your family is hard work it's tough to get it done she's not a mind reader i'm not a mind reader we both have to figure out our flow and how things work 
Now, you didn't grow up in the country at all, right? No, I didn't. I was a city girl. She was kind of a city girl, and I grew up in the country, but I didn't participate in this kind of stuff. You know, I, I learned it all as time has gone on. I'm 40 years old. She's 30 years old. I can't expect her to know everything, and she can't expect me to know everything. Guys, be patient. Be patient with your wife. Be patient with your husband. Be patient with your kids. And for goodness sakes, I think the biggest thing is just being humble. Thanks a lot for joining us. Come on back and see us next time on the Stony Ridge. We got a runoff. Get some feed. I love her. I love She's you. a good woman. <laughs> Sometimes I get grumpy. Sometimes he gets a little grumpy. Oh, she does. See, she doesn't admit that she gets grumpy. <laughs> uh huh. I get feisty. We could make an okay team. We can make an okay team. <laughs> we can Lots make a of great inspiration team. here. Great team. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> we'll come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife. Bye y'all! Bye y'all!